Hi babies, how are you? I stayed up super late last night, so I'm a little sleepy, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm a go to bed early kind of person, so. But I stayed up for the fireworks because it was Independence Day. Um, a fun little story I should share. This is, um, for one, it's a general message, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And whenever you find it, it's the right time. So it's timeless, okay? Okay. Um, so <laughs> when I was at the carnival last night, um, this guy, well, salesman, <laughs> I should say, was like, um, one of the other people I was with, like, asked a question. And I wasn't really involved. Like, I wasn't even looking. Like, I just didn't care. I wasn't interested in the things he was selling. And he got like really close to me and I was like, bro, you're not even fucking talking to me. Like, why are you in my bubble? And I'm just like, you know, looking him down, like, what the fuck are you doing? I didn't move because he was trying to do like a power move to see if I would like step back. And so I'm like looking at him like, okay, like interesting, like cool, you know, whatever. And, uh, and then he touched me. <laughs> And I, the part of me that wanted to be like super fucking pissed off and be like, go off on him. Like, I just like, cause I don't go out in like big crowds often. Um, but I was just like this motherfucker. Like I wanted to unload on him. Cause you know, all the shit that's been happening to us as a collective. And he just wanted to unload on him. And I was just like, so I like, just turned my back to him and like walked away. I was just like, oh my God, like I just, but I stood there for a minute to make sure that he knew that I, I was like cutting the, the energetic tie that he attempted to like create. And it was just so weird. So, um, and I, I thought on it and thinking like, oh, should I have been like, oh, like, dude, don't fucking touch me, like whatever. I, the most I could have said was like, you know, please don't touch me. I know also that we're all being, um, people are trying to trigger us to like drain our energy and stuff like that. So I was just trying to do it in a way that, um, it didn't give them my energy. So I just like turned my back to make sure like, I'm like, dude, I'm not fucking having this. Like what the fuck? So... <laughs> Um, this is just like a little reminder that people are going to try and trigger you and try to like overstep your boundaries and just try to like respond in a cool, calm way. Like, I feel like I should have said something, but, um, you know, my intuition does tell me that like just turning my back and making sure that he knew that I was like not about that was enough, but I do kind of think I, I should have done more. I, I don't quite know. But I was also just like pissed off because I've just been like, you know, we've all been experiencing like the sabotage, you know, negative energy people have been trying to send at us, that type of stuff. So we're all kind of on edge and just like ready to pop off at any moment. And so it's just like a reminder, like think before you respond because that guy was probably just trying to siphon my energy in any way he could hence he touched me to try to make that energetic cord and I immediately was like nope energetically like nah dog you can take that stank ass shit back and um so he may have just tried to piss me off or something to get my energy in that way also so on that <laughs> um this the song I got on shuffle um is the final episode let's change the channel by asking alexandria and it's like oh my god <laughs> if only he knew if oh, oh i'm singing <laughs> i'm singing that song in a in a, a way of a different song that's fucking hilarious the other song that i got on shuffle <laughs> Okay, we in it now. We fucking in it now. 444 on the clock. Holy shit. All right, I'm protected. We're protected. If only he knew, if only he knew about the world within, without the bullshit and the lies. We could have saved him. They could have saved me. 
but instead I'm here drowning in my own fucking mind. And I'll be damned if you're the death of me. Blood and ink stain the walls silently with bloodied knuckles. I carry on, hoping it's not too wrong. You said the nights were far too long. Honey, it's just the start of it. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, I cannot remember how the rest of the song goes because I got caught up in like how the other song <laughs> If only he knew. Just stand up and scream. The tainted clock is counting down. You gave in to me. Would you say the nights are far too long now? Faster, faster, and fast. The tears that stain my cheeks make me look weak. I wear them proudly. I wear them proud. Just stand up and scream. The tainted clock is counting down. You gave in to me. Would you say the nights are far too long now? Your knife, my back, my gun, your head. You need a doctor, baby? You scared? You scared? Yeah. You need a doctor, baby? You scared? Okay, so what I'm getting from here... Um, and like just the other cards, the cards that came out is um, that Uno reverse be slapping, that Uno reverse be hitting in regards to like um, the sabotage, the negativity that's been putting out and, you know, just people that tried to hit you like where it hurts basically. And um <clears throat> And you're showing them how resilient you are, how strong you are. Because in my song it says, the tears that stain my cheek make me look weak. I wear them proudly, I wear them proud. They tried to make you look weak, they tried to make you feel weak, insecure, all of these things. You know, they could have just, you know, bashed on your looks, on your skills, on your intellect, you know, your intuition, trying to gaslight you, whatever. And you, um, you took it with grace, I guess the best way to put it. You dealt with it in a way that um, they didn't expect. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And I'm shit you not, every fucking card that fell out of this deck is a major arcana. So I was like, damn, okay, shit. This is a, <laughs> this is a real ass message. Okay, so um, the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse just immediately made me think of Uno reverse like the tables have turned and you know and how it says like my knife your back my gun your head you need a doctor baby you scared are you scared um that is like you just showing how resilient and strong you are and how you're still able to come through like all of these things that you've experienced as sabotage um, and still, like, be looking hot, um, pushing through, like, you know, showing up to work, um, showing up for your kids, whatever, your family. You're still able to do this. You wake up every day and still push, and they didn't expect that. And now it's uno reverse because now you're in a higher vibration where things aren't affecting you. And either one, you were called to... Um, bring justice and like stick up for yourself or you know bring a message to these people or um just you like exiting the situation is bringing back all this karma to them and it, you know it's not even like you may not have even done like a return to sender or anything of that sort you just like pushed through and overcame like a ton of shit and you still like because it says, I carry on hoping it's not too wrong. You said the nights were far too long. Um, like you came, overcame like these dark nights, like feeling alone, scared, um, you know, battling your own demon, battling these entities that were messing with your head, putting fear into you. Because we have the uh, fear card in reverse where it's these little demons messing with their heart chakra. And since it's in reverse, that was you overcoming this and um, fighting through all this crazy shit, all these crazy attacks, people messing in your energy, people um, <clears throat> trying to get you to feel confused, indecisive, because um, we have missed opportunities and stuck. 
and they were trying to like all of these things like had you in this like indecisive energy they wanted you to um not push through like you're like to make you think like all this stuff that you're experiencing is like a uh, most high like trying to block you or something but you kept pushing through because you listened to your intuition you followed these leads and um continued on you kept trucking and you knew even through all of the confusion the attacks the narcissism the manipulation all of these things that you were experiencing you still followed your guiding star your intuition your gut even though you were unsure and in this fear and all of this you still uh powered through um like your spirit team didn't leave you hanging they still made sure that you met the right people and all of these things they and since that uno reverse is hitting they're in this stuck energy and you know you either exited or are in the midst of that or just simply not allowing um the shit to hit you anymore to bother you anymore but you know because i'm seeing here if he only knew about the world without bullshit and lies we could have saved him they could have saved me but instead i'm here drowning in my own fucking mind and i'll be damned if you're the death of me like you even in the midst of all this like chaos confusion because i'm really getting that confusion with the um wheel of fortune in reverse and then we also have the emperor in reverse. Um, so that was like the control. They may have just been sending like um, spell work to, or like messing in your energy to like get you confused, mess, like trying to block your chakras and try to mess with your head to think that, you know, you're not saying the right stuff or like you aren't able to push through or um, what does it say? Yeah, I'm here drowning in my own fucking mind. You were just like, in a tizzy constantly overthinking stuff constantly thinking stuff um in this like i'm seeing the wheel of fortune as like a wheel that's just like losing control like no brakes and it's just spinning and spinning and spinning and you know they're trying to control you through that so it could have just been like the way they manipulated their words you your energy uh magic all of this stuff and you still push through and now that shit's coming back to them because we have with that um, wheel of fortune, we have the little demon dude on the top now. Um, they fucked around and we're on demon time. And we have the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. So like you know that backstabbing, trying to end you, trying to end your blessings, um, just anything to hurt you. Because you and it's interesting that this card came out uh, with this song because it says my knife your back or my knife. Oh fuck. Blah. Um, your knife, my back, my gun, your head. Um, so like you, I'm seeing this as you turning these, um, backstabbing, hurt, all of these things into your strength, into your protection by coming back and uno reversing that. And it, it doesn't mean that you came in with this malicious energy to hurt somebody or, you know, um, do anything like coming out like yeah i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get vengeance like it's not that you just turn because he's this is honestly i think the first card i've ever seen where the dude is or wom woman i think it's a guy um is able to they're pulling the knife out the horns out of their back i i don't think i've ever seen that on a ten of swords so that's very interesting so you were able to because usually it's just somebody like looking like they're giving they've given up and they're just laying there like, oh, well, I got backstabbed. And they're laying there. This time, old boy is sitting up, shredded as fuck, and able to pull the knives out of their back. The horns, because it's the Viking horns in this deck. Pulling those horns out of their back. And, you know, they still have their strength. Even though they went through all of this pain and um, betrayal, a loneliness you know, being completely isolated and you're coming out of this stronger than ever. And, you know, like, because you were so in your head and you went through all this crazy shit, you know, you were forced, you know, here it says, but instead I'm here drowning in my own fucking mind and I'll be damned if you're the death of me. That's you pulling those knives out, um, those horns out. 
Blood and ink stain the walls silently with bloodied knuckles. I carry on hoping it's not too wrong. You said the nights were far too long. This was you like integrating your shadow, working through your shadow, getting pissed off, you know, punching shit, you know, or just like feeling that hatred, this anger, these awful feelings that you had, you know, it was and not only did it make you feel this anger towards these people that betrayed you, but it brought out all the stuff that happened throughout childhood and that left you angry. It was meant to happen so you could turn these wounds that were left untended into your, um, your power, your weapons, your protection, because now nothing can fuck with you because you're like, stab me in the back again, bitch. See what happens. I will Uno reverse this shit. I will transmute the fuck out of this because I am strong as fuck. And I, I used it to heal childhood wounding. I faced my shadow and integrated it and I will still keep doing that. And I know how to do it better now because I've done it and it's been brought to my awareness. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's interesting because I, I don't think I've ever seen a deck where the dude is pulling the knives out of their back. So that's, that's cool, really cool. I got a nice butt too. <laughs> I like me some meat to grab onto. <laughs> shit my bad all right back to the story <laughs> so we've got the four cups upright and this is them not seeing it they didn't see your strength so they thought you know they were getting away with all this happy shit with this control with the emperor in reverse and um they may because i do see the third eye on this emperor they may have been using their intuition and, you know, psychic abilities, you know, spiritual abilities for uh, negative purposes. And that's how they were able to control you and manipulate you because uh, they were manipulating um, your energy with their gifts and using it for bad. But also because of that, um, it hit them even harder coming back because there was intent with it. Um, but they didn't see how strong you were. Yeah, they may have been using their gifts or, you know, their way of with people. Hence, like, you know, I ran into that weird salesman guy that was, like, trying to dominate me with his body language. Like, <laughs> and I just turned around. I was like, and turned around. <laughs> I gave him the up and down and fuck you. <laughs> um... So they didn't see that part of you because I'm assuming like just with tying into the story of what happened to me last night, um, you know, I look like innocent and nice and, you know, cause I've got like a little smile on my face all the time when I'm walking around cause I was enjoying the carnival and like looking at stuff. And so they, you know, people assume that, you know, be, you have this angelic presence and you're like innocent because you've done this fucking work and you're an earth angel. Um, you know, you're a chosen one they assume that you're just always in that energy and they didn't realize your strength. They didn't see that strength. 12, 13 on my clock. Um, <clears throat> and that was their arrogance because they were in this like narcissistic energy, um, arrogant, like, um, a selfishness in the way that they're like, Oh, well, I'm the only person that has gifts like this. I'm the only person that can, uh, I know how to work people and I, I know how to, I can make anybody do anything I want. And you're like, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for the stab in the back. I'm just going to transmute the fuck out of that. Thank you. And, um, and I'll be damned if you're the death of me, I'm going to keep going. In fact, I know how to pull these knives out of my back and have a whole ass new beginning because oh <laughs> actually i want to go into this because i i just saw this we have this queen of swords in reverse and that's the queen of viking horns in this one um <clears throat> and they did once again with this story of the underlying energy the overall the um energy of this deck like since i've shuffled it um i should say this reading well whatever you, you get what i'm saying um so they didn't 
you pulled out the fucking knives out of your back. They didn't realize you were doing this. And, you know, this is like you at home, like, you know, be, <laughs> being your own doctor, like pulling the knives out of your back, pulling, the, you know, everything out and like going into the dark night, being alone, just in hermit mode. And they didn't see this part of you with this four of cups upright. And here you come back because the queen of swords, she's a cold hard bitch. She will cut a motherfucker with her tongue like nobody's business. She'll cut them off. Um, and since there is like an angel behind her, that was your ancestors, not only, you know, you doing this cutoff game and like coming back even stronger. And, you know, maybe you had to like be a harsh dick to this person and say like, hey, <clears throat> don't ever fucking talk to me again you betrayed me blah 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 whatever or you know it was just you just completely severing any sort of ties with this person and just not dealing with it and you know your ancestors had your angels guides whatever they had this a part in it too where you know you prayed up and you were like please just help me out with this situation i don't know what to do i'm doing my best so they were taking care of it behind the scenes possibly haunting this person these people that did this to you or, you know, helping serve their ju your justice. And, you know, you were just wanting to heal and get through this and move on. <clears throat> Meanwhile, your spirit team is like not letting these motherfuckers sleep because you cut them off. And interestingly, this queen, <laughs> I always see the queen of swords as like, you know, that song, it's, um, next contestant by nickelback it's like uh bring them on bring the next one on let's fucking go no bring it on i'm ready I, I i came out of my dark night bitch and i'm stronger than ever i am i got gains you don't even know about bring it on next contestant because she has that finger that's you know it's always pointing like you come here no come here i'm gonna no we're gonna have a little chat we're gonna have a little fucking chat here <laughs> and see how she's like missing like most of her flesh but her um hair is still done and like curled and looking nice like yes you were like picked apart walked through fire you know burned with the holy ghost fire you know to go through all of this and you still did it with grace like looking good and they never saw this part of you until now and <laughs> interesting we have the knight of uh, viking horns underneath that and now they're realizing oh shit i was impulsive i was reckless i didn't think this shit through that was their energy because they thought you know they had been getting away with it for how long and this is also the gossip card like uh you know they were talking shit uh running your name through the mud because remember gossip and like um, talking ill about somebody is magic so they're putting that energy on you it's a projection so not only were you having to fight all these betrayals sabotage they continue to fucking do it even though you came back stronger because that's just the demon time that they're on and now they're in this stuck energy because their karma becoming full fucking circle Oh, we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this may have blocked their um, abundance, their legacy. Uh, they may have tried to like take a job promotion or like money, um, some sort of opportunities away from you. Or they like tore your family apart, you know, whatever. Or it could have been just your family or people that did this to you as well. But now it's it's disassembled. It's no longer together. And, you know, that may be part of their karma is not ha being able to um, <clears throat> have this legacy. And that may have been they thought you were always going to be in their life. And that was, you know, their blessing that Most High brought them. And they, they chose not to see the blessing. Instead, they decided to toy around with you with this Wheel of Fortune. They wanted to toy around and play games. And, you know, I'm seeing that like uh, 
Oogie Boogie from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas when he's got all these like greasy like gambling games like that's the shit they are on like um, when I'm shown like uh, people's like energy that have like a lot of entity attachments and stuff when I meditate on that um, sometimes it, like my guides show me this person will legit like be full of like bugs and like that's just all they are is just like creepy crawly like centipedes and stuff um, so like this is they were on you know demon time they were on you know wanting to play these games wanting to gamble with your energy gamble with your connection because they wanted to be in control and feel this and ultimately it's wounding it's you know past life stuff that they're having to work through um and sometimes like there's just crappy people <laughs> you know that you have to endure this stuff to raise in vibration but this has brought you a new beginning with this full card um and because you walked through the fire you went through the darkness you um you're <laughs> i'm seeing this as you literally went through hell with this deck you know because this is a, a hellfire deck or something like that i can't remember i think it's so yeah fuck it. it you'll find it if you <laughs> um and see how like the sun is like cr bleeding bloody tears and um i got twelve twenty one on my clock uh it's like bleeding tears and you know this is you coming out of hell actual hell with you know the demons you slayed skulls on your little uh stick and you somehow like grew a flower something that shouldn't grow in hell you were able to you know grow something beautiful out of it and you're like fuck yeah you know let's bring it on i'm not scared of shit anymore I'm a powerful little bitch. <laughs> I'm a powerful motherfucker, bitch. <laughs> um, and we have, like, <laughs> so it says, I carry on hoping it's not too wrong. You said the nights were too long. Honey, it's just the start of it. Oh my God, if you, he only knew. Honey, if you only knew the shit that I've gone through and now you're about to go through your dark night and... On top of the karma you've reaped up, welcome. You're and you're coming out like, yeah, it's your first time, ain't it, <sighs> pussy? <laughs> you, <laughs> we got a fucking new guy around here. Like, you know, you're just like ribbing them spiritually because you're like, you came through this, you walked through literal hell, you know, brought back your demon skulls that you've slayed, and somehow managed to make something beautiful out of it. And you still look good doing it. You still came out like, um, you powered through, you know, the fatigue, the energetic stuff that was causing you to be confused, have brain fog, all of these things, not seeing things clearly. Um, they wanted you in this indecisive energy. And you came through like, yeah, my spirit, spirit team got my back and y'all can't fuck with me. Because um, what I'm getting right now, and I've heard from other people that, like, there's going to be a lot of projection still um, to cause you to be indecisive because you do have all of your blessings coming in because of the stuff you went through, these um, trials and tribulations and training, if you will. Um, so you, there's going to be projections and tests to make you indecisive and almost, like, uh, pass up this um, blessing. And, you know, this is that final stretch of, like, knowing your inner knowing not getting stuck up on it and like getting in your head and getting back into that spiraling like indecisive energy like oh i don't know i'm stuck in this energy like buried up to your your waist in rock um this there's going to be projections onto you to like um go like almost fall back into the old ways and you're gonna be called to fight through this um, indecisive energy, this, uh, worry, this, I don't know, like distrusting because you've gone through so much. Um, it's gonna, you're gonna have to open your heart and trust and take that leap of faith with that full card. <clears throat> and you're also going to be called with this hanged man to see things through a different perspective. Um, and seeing what you've been through was just tests. 
And um, I'm seeing that bird here as the phoenix, kind of like in Harry Potter when the phoenix just shows up and like saves them out of like the, um, fuck, what is it, what the dungeon of fucking, ow. Oh. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. I, oh, it was where the basilisk was. Um, shit, someone can put it in the comments. <laughs> but it's where the little phoenix came and saved them. It, well, it saved Harry Potter from like the bite of the um, basilisk so he didn't die because its tears like were healing. So it like took care of the venom. And then, um, you know, they were like exited out of that uh, Ginny and Harry Potter. So like, this is you like seeing things through a different perspective. Like you're in this like holding space, um, with the hangman, you know, yeah, you still got your wounds, you're still healing, but, um, this is your spirit team, like making sure, like coming back to check on you, like, Hey, did you learn the lesson? Are you still going to open your heart? And are you, did you actually believe your self-worth now do you believe your confidence now do you actually have that and walk the walk not just think about it do you walk the walk and that that's these tests that you know they have you in this holding space and i saw 31 13 on the clock um you know they have you in this holding space to make sure that you learn the lesson and that you're not going to fall back into this old bullshit and then they're going to come and save you and pull you out of this so um, you're kind of in this like holding space, like you're not in in the, the hell, the horrible stuff anymore because you came back with your little demon skulls like, yeah, I, I did it. I did it. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, you're still in this like healing. You need to be in like, it's like a resting state. Like your wounds need to heal. You pull all the knives out of your back. You're strong. Um, but you still, your guides are still checking to make sure most high is still checking to be like, mm, all right, did you learn the lesson? We're going to throw some tests at you. Are you going to listen to your intuition? Or are you going to let the people messing with your energy, uh, get you in your head and start questioning things and overthink it to where you end up missing your opportunity. You're going to sit here and time out. <laughs> Not that you're in trouble, but it's a more of a. I'm seeing it as like when the kids have to do like an after school program because their parents can't pick them up because they're at work. It's like you're in that after school program. You can't quite go home uh, until uh, mother and father most high <laughs> um, comes, gets off work to come pick you up and save you, uh, pull you out of this. So you kind of have to like keep, you know, it's your time to do your homework and, you know, get ready for what's due tomorrow, you know, what's coming up. So that's, you know, getting ready, like studying, uh, reflecting back on like how, what your old habits were. And, you know, maybe you uh, fall back into like, oh, like, uh, it'd be really nice if I had this or whatever, like getting caught up in this like lack mentality of like what's missing out of your life. And um, or just like clinging to like all this crazy shit that's happened to you. And when like you really need to be doing your homework and focusing on like what you're grateful for now and you know how fucking strong you are for what you overcame and thanking them for making you even stronger and showing how much grit you have showing how powerful you are i mean hell you w literally walked through hell and came back with a new beginning with your <laughs> slayed demons on your stick with pride and you grew something that shouldn't grow in hell. And we have the devil upright. <clears throat> so I see this two ways. This is with that hangman, like you're in this, er um, you're in this um, energy of like, you need to sit through, do your homework, reflect, study what have you done what are your habits and are you actually like being diligent about your um your growth and like staying up on it and uh checking yourself when you're in this like overthinking and decisive like letting these like little demons like put you in that fear state did you actually learn the lesson and walk away from fear in regards to these things or are you still getting caught up in it 
And I'm also seeing because we do have laughter, um, the devil card can also mean like being devilish and like being funny and like joking and uh, that type of thing. So like you need to be more in this energy of like, go out and have fun. Go fucking play some practical jokes on your friends or coworkers or whatever. Like come back into that energy of like lightheartedness, joking around, you know, just like I was saying with old ten of Viking horns got a got some cake on him that I'd like to grab, you know? <laughs> I like a man with a strong back, okay? Um <laughs> like laughing and like um because like the devil isn't always a bad card. Like Capricorns it's the Capricorn card. So it's that um and we're fucking funny as hell, okay? For one. And two, like, you know, that might just be like, uh, you know, laughing at yourself, laughing, getting back into, you know, because Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. So they're able to look at like the stuff they fucked up on and they're really hard on themselves and they push themselves. So, you know, getting back and seeing like, yeah, this is where I fucked up. Like, this is where my addictions were, my obs obsessions were. Um, all of these things, um, cause that's like addiction control. Where have you been trying to control your life and all of that? And then being willing to look at it, be like, damn, why am I fucking doing that? Like, that's funny. Like uh, turn it into like, shit, I fucked up. Like that's stupid, but okay. Like I, I, and laugh about it. Bring a more lighthearted approach, approach to it because you've been through literal hell. You've been through the darkness. You've been through it all. It's time to start laughing at shit. Like bring it back to this lighthearted energy because we've all been in this like heavier um, energy. Like I have found myself like, you know, this is a message for me too because like I found myself like laughing, like not joking around as much, not being in that like, because I'm always, when I'm in my best highest vibe i'm laughing joking palling around all that stuff and i found myself the last couple weeks in this heavier energy so getting back into this like laughing it off making fun of yourself and you know not in a um a way that would like uh self-deprecating way you don't want to be like tearing yourself down because then that's just you know putting more spell work upon yourself um, speaking ill upon yourself, but laughing but like, that was dumb. But you know what? I'm going to learn better next time. And, you know, laugh at it. Be like, that was, that was like me two minutes ago. I was younger then. Like, you know, turning it into like, yes, I'm going to be better. I, I fucked up. I'm going to take responsibility for it. And then I'm going to laugh it off. I'm going to go be in a higher vibe and just go. I'm having fun with it because guess what? This is a all a game. It's all a game. And the best way to get good at games, because, you know, we're at the carnival. So there's all these games that people play, like um, breaking the bottles with the baseball or um, dart balloon or whatever. The only way you get better at doing at those things, at those skills, is by doing it over and over again. So, you know, you're in this newbie energy of like learning to be better and better and better and raising vibration and break these old habits, these old addictions. <clears throat> oh yeah and we have vigilance on that like so that's just being on top of your game catching yourself and like also just catch yourself when you're being too fucking serious like yo like yeah this shit sucks but like you're making it worse by being like allowing these projections and like and so like say you just get like agitated and you're like in this lower vibration that's usually somebody projecting some energy on you and they want you in this lower energy um so you can't like uh so you're more susceptible to like spell work manipulation um so or people can like steal your energy so just being like on top of that listening to your intuition with that third eye and being like oh i am grumpy oh okay somebody's just fucking with my energy eh okay and then, you know, kind of getting out of that and like laughing it off and be like, ha, bitch, you thought, you thought you got me. Return to sender, babes. That is not my energy. You can have it back. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me strong and forcing me to be uh, vigilant and on top of that shit. Um, 
and you know this is just looking out for yourself looking out for your own energy your uh your intuition looking you know this is fighting the battle for yourself <clears throat> and we have judgment here and this is showing me <laughs> with the card and everything and like how this like dude has a little horn i'm seeing it as like a one of those guys the, the little snake dancer thing the snake charmer like that's you um they didn't realize that you had this ability to come back and regenerate from the the end like you, they thought they had you they thought you you know they tore you down that you know no one could come out of this like they're going to be insecure they're going to be small i want to put i they're going to be humbled they're going to be in their little small places that i want them because i don't like their big energy and that's you just like raising the dead <laughs> like you just like charming the shit out of like all the things that they thought they um you know killed inside of you and you're bringing it back to life and like stronger and better like i'm seeing it as like a zombie army like you're you're coming back you know what are you gonna do try and end me i've been through the fire i've been through the dark night i've been through the death and now i rebirth as that phoenix that we were talking about like you've been through you've completely burned to nothing walking through the fire walking through hell and you are brand new you you're in this brand new energy brand new um vibration and you're because judgment is also like this awakening this understanding this um reckoning so this is you you know raising from the dead um at a higher vibration indestructible <laughs> my homie david draymond <laughs> indestructible indestructible by disturbed you know we have to do it <laughs> another mission the powers have called me away another time to carry the colors again my motivation an oath i've sworn to defend to win the honor of coming back home again. What did I fucking say earlier? Your most high has you in an after school program before you can go home. An oath I've sworn to defend to win the honor of coming back home again. No explanation will matter after we begin. Unlock the dark destroyer that's buried within me. My true vocation yo and now my unfortunate friend you will discover a warrior unable to win damn son oh why is my hair hard um <laughs> so damn okay so you're you came since you came out of this hell and you know pulled those knives out of your back you found where your vote what your vocation is what your purpose is um and you're here to like vindicate others, not only yourself and like, <clears throat> and this may not even be like a true, damn, this, this song was in 2008, okay. Um, it didn't seem that long ago, uh, <laughs> sorry. This is you coming into your true vaca vocation and now my unfortunate friend, you will discover a warrior unable to win. You realized your warrior abilities, your warrior strength, and you're here to fight for others also. I'll have you know that I've become indestructible, determination that is incorruptible. Damn. From the other side, a terror to behold. A night from the other fucking side, you walking through literal hell and coming back like, hi, here's my little demons and a flower I grew. <laughs> oh, was that supposed to be hard? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> From the other side, a terror to behold, annihilation will be un unavoidable. Every broken enemy will know that their opponent had to be invincible. Take a last look around while you're alive. I'm an indestructible master of war. Holy shit. So like you had this war called upon you that you didn't even know. It was like, the other side you know the light versus the dark and here you are like realizing that you are a light warrior you're you're meant to fight this big war between the um enemy and the most high 
And so you found through coming through all of this, pulling the knives out of your back, being stronger, being more resilient, gaining muscle from it, gaining the strength from it. And you found that you are, this is your purpose. So while you're in this um, holding space of like, you're not yet home, this is where you find your true power. And that's that reflection, like I was saying. And that's this understanding, this reckoning with the judgment card. Fuck, I have goosebumps all over. Fuck yeah. This understanding that now you see who the fuck you are. You are a whole ass warrior. You were built for war. You were built for this, um, this great fight. You were built for this. You came out stronger, better, more powerful. <clears throat> You're a master of war. <laughs> another reason, another cause for me to fight. Another fuse uncovered. Now for me to light. My dedication to all that I've sworn to protect. Yo, shit, dude. So, like, you are in this realization. Because I also see the devil card as, like, you know, almost being in, like, this power, this, uh, like, shadow integration, this, um, like, you might be, like, you've learned, like, how to be, because the Capricorn is the CEO of the um, Zodiac, so that's you being in this power of, you know, your shadow side and, you know, how uh, resilient you are and, like, how you can, like, fight through it and uh, manipulate it because this card is also manipulation and control. You can manipulate and control your energy, your shadow, your all parts of you, integrate it to make you a better warrior, a better fighter. And in that, you found that you were like, no, I will never let a motherfucker do this to anybody ever again. And through this um, reckoning, this awakening, you're finding out your powers, your spiritual powers, your spiritual strength, all of these things to fight the good fight for others that don't have those powers because we all have something individual that gives us strength and you know we have this purpose in it and so while you were going through this and in this holding state you know you're meditating you're reflecting you're realizing shit not everybody does have this strength this understanding this spiritual power this gift, like I'm seeing it as like, not only maybe like psychic gifts or like your ability to e manipulate certain energies, your ability to manifest certain things. Those are your gifts that, you know, only you have, no one else has. And you need to reflect, sit at your little after school program. What did you learn throughout the day? What, it, you know, do your homework. Who are you? And what is your power to protect others that don't have this? How can you use that power to be in your um, your vocation, your divine purpose, your divine path. <clears throat> Damn. Fuck yeah, David Draymond, bring it in. <laughs> now for me to light. Okay, so the few another few is uncovered. Now for me to light, and this has put some passion into you. You know, it's invigorated you to be like, I will never let a motherfucker do this again. I have passion and this could be on the spiritual realm, physical realm. And there's a way to intertwine what, you know, you've learned about yourself on the spiritual realm and overcoming all of these things to do it in the physical realm. And that could be, you know, switching vocation, you know, sticking up for people, you know, all that stuff, you know, like being one of those, um, like court advocates that go sit with like, uh, people that have been victims of abuse or like attacks or something to like go protect them and like use your energy your power I have goosebumps all over my body so using that energy and that power to like um, you know using your aura and whatever that warrior spiritual part of you to stick up and protect others in the physical in situations where it needs to be they need comfort and you know, you can wrap your energy around them to comfort them through these like uncomfortable things, such as like a court case or something like that. Um, <clears throat> another fuse uncovered now for me to light my dedication to all that I've sworn to protect. I carry out my orders and you're like, you know, this was your initiation for most high to show you what the fuck your powers are and what your job is on this in this lifetime. 
and this is you realizing it through like, okay, now I'm dedicated. A, a, oh shit. Yeah, my dedication to all I've sworn to protect. I carry out my orders. That was most high being like, yo, this is like you. You came through this. So now do the homework, meditate on it, sit on it. How are you going to carry out your orders? Because these are your orders I'm giving you. You need to meditate and, you know, dissect what, um, what, like, how you're going to bring this to the physical world on top of the spiritual world. How are you going to integrate this? How are you going to um, follow the, follow through on your orders that I've given you? So you need to sit. I'm not going to take you home until you figure out how you're going to do this. Um, a deck, I, okay. I carry out my orders with not a regret. So you're not, and that's you forgiving yourself and, you know, laughing at your mistakes and working through that, you know, the times that you've had like addictions, um, control issues, stuff like that. And, you know, bringing more laughter and joy to it and not having these regrets, you're uh, processing it. And a declaration embedded deep under my skin, a permanent reminder of how we began. No hesitation. When I'm commanding the strike, you need to know that you're in the, <clears throat> you're in the fight of your life. So, you know, you, ooh, okay. And since my throat chakra got a little fucky there, <clears throat> you have the ability to one, call fucking judgment. So using your throat chakra, sticking up for people, um, using your energy in that way, or just simply like, uh, declaring like, no, fuck that. That is unjust. No. Or, you know, bringing people together, however it needs to be, you know, you're finding this power that you can command the strike. You can command this. It's just a matter of getting to it, whether it's through prayer, through physical, whatever, this is, you know, this is your homework to do while you wait in this holding space before you go home in the after school program to learn about yourself, learn about your um, shadow side, learn about how you can manipulate and control these energies to benefit in this good fight. Um, when I'm commanding the strike, you need to know that you're in for the fight of your life. <laughs> and um, that's bringing me back to like, you You should have fucking killed me. You should have ended me. Because I, you can't, I'm indestructible. Um, indestructible. <laughs> that's funny. A determination that is incorruptible from the other side. A terror to behold. Annihilation will be unavoidable. I'm indestructible. Determination that is incorruptible. Oh, okay, so it's repeating itself. Um, uh, every broken enemy will know that their opponent had to be invincible. Take a last look around while you're alive. I'm an indestructible master of war. And that's um, where I was coming back to that Uno reverse. These people were so arrogant because they thought that they had you. They thought they, you know, they could play these little games of manipulation, control, um, <clears throat> sabotage, narcissism, gamble with your life and your energy, gamble with the connections. And now they're saying, my opponent is indestructible. You are indestructible. And through all this horrible, uncomfortable, shitty stuff, you found your purpose. You found who you are as a warrior. And or you will by being in this holding space that most high has put you in and be like, I'm not picking you up until you finish your homework. <laughs> I'm doing some other shit. I'm working on other things. I'll take you home. I'll take you where you need to be when you figure out who the fuck you are. And that's you're indestructible. What is your vocation? What is your purpose through this? And this is on you. This is where you find, OK, what are my individual powers? What, what have I learned about myself through overcoming all of this spiritual attacks, physical attacks, anything, um, betrayals, all these backstabbings? What have I learned about myself? How am I magical? How am I resilient? How am I indestructible? How can I use these powers, this presence that I have now, this heavy, big presence that I have because I'm a fucking warrior? How can I use that? 
to fight this good fight in the spirit realm and the 3D? And how can I bring them together? And we have the Ace of Wands that I got here. So this is, you know, that fuse we're lighting. This is you, because I'm seeing this as, um, I, I saw this as like magic, black magic backfiring with this lightning strike on the tree. But I'm also seeing this as um, the fuse, especially with this song, the fuse being lit. You've uh, uncovered another fuse now for me to light. Um, my dedication to all that I've sworn to protect. This is that fire. This is bringing that, um, whoa. Oh shit. Okay. So <laughs> interesting. So the, I just pulled two cards out of this deck and it was the ace of wands and the two of swords. And then I'm, I've just been pulling the cards off the bottom of this deck and we have the ace of wands and the fucking two of swords. What the hell, man? That's some crazy shit. <laughs> um, let me see. What what the hell? What, talk to me, angels. What is this about? Oh, this is... um. So part of this... That's fucking wild. Like, you can't make that up. <laughs> this is that motivation that lit fuse um, to protect i'm seeing that like um <clears throat> like crossing the heart to protect and to be like no we're not having that no i'm also seeing this as like you're um because like these projections of like wanting to pass up your um blessings your purpose all of these things that is you having this energy this um fire this intensity to fight through those projections, that spell work, the manipulation to get you to question things, that's gonna push you through this indecisiveness, this um, unable to make a decision, like just teetering back and forth and not really seeing the truth. I'm seeing that as like, this is, um, especially with this fire here on both of them where it's like this melting, like the destruction, um, I'm seeing the new beginning of like, that's uncovering the um, blindfold that they have on you. They, this, that, all of this, finding your purpose and powering through it. This sitting in this, man, I hope this is making sense. But <laughs> um, sitting in this hanged man energy where you gotta like sit in your after school program, you're like, you know, so, uh, I'm seeing it as like a little at home movie projector. Like you made movies at home, like an old school one where you're like going through all these pictures of like <clears throat> old family stuff. And um, while going through that and sitting at home in your, <clears throat> or like, you know, your after school program, whatever, and like going through the past, um, you're also getting like downloads from your ancestors of like what your ancestral curses were. That could have been passing up these opportunities, not being able to see the truth on what path you need to follow. And this is gonna give you the strength and power to light the fuse, blow that up, blow that whole um, indecision, this wool over your eyes, this inability to see the truth. That's gonna blow that up and open your third eye to see, okay, this is actually what I need to follow. And that's, you know, praying up, asking your ancestors to protect you, most high to protect you. All of these things give you synchronicities, answers to push through this. What is my purpose and how can I keep pushing through? And, you know, how can I stay out of this indecisive energy? And that's because I'm, I definitely see this is definitely going to give you that indecisive energy and you're just going to have to power through. You're going to have to find the fire within yourself and that's that passion that I want to find my purpose. And that's sitting in this hangman energy, your after school program, doing the homework on yourself, learning about yourself, learning about your ancestors, asking your ancestors and angels and guides to give you guidance on what you need to undo to get further into your purpose and higher in vibration and break through this indecisive bullshit and use that um, to guide you. I mean, honestly, it's still good, though, because we have two Ace of Wands. That's new beginnings. That's creativity. That's power. That's motivation. 
um, I'm seeing it as like you having the energy before like a big race or something like, or, you know, this excitement before a, a vacation, um, or like the excitement of having a new job. Like, yes, you're going to, you might have these anxiety, like, Oh my, is this going to be good for me? It seems like a lot of work. Um, it seems like a lot of stuff I got to do, but use that excitement, this new energy to keep pushing through. Cause that blessing, it might seem like a lot, like you have a lot of um, responsibilities or that type of thing. Like you're like, Oh, is that something I actually want? Is that a schedule I want? Is that, um, is this really for me? Or is this just like another backstabbing? <laughs> like, what is this? Um, using that energy, your passion, the trust in yourself that you overcame, you literally walked through hell and came out with a new beginning. And you know, you're, you've defeated your enemies. And so trusting yourself, and that's, you know, your homework of getting into your confidence and learning about yourself, learning about your lineage and where you can be this warrior and step into your purpose. So it might be like this collaboration job um, relationship where you're like thinking like, oh, is this going to be a lot of work? Like what, what, I don't know about this. How am I even going to use my spiritual gifts to do this? It's all going to come together and you're going to be fighting this war. You're going to be in this, it's just going to, it's going to take time, but you have this motivation, this excitement, this passion with you to fight through this indecisive energy. Hopefully that made sense. I feel like I was kind of all over the place on the last part of it. But we did have the sun card. So I'll show you this so you actually believe me. We have the sun card at the bottom of this deck. And um, I see this, uh, since we have the back side of this, where you kind of see the stars and see how there's these uh, guys like looking over on the child. Um, that's your guides looking out for you. That's you just pray up and ask for guidance and listen to your intuition and trust it and don't get all up in your fucking head in this dis indecisive energy because that's what the enemy wants. That's what these people that want to sabotage you want. They want you overthinking it and passing up this opportunity, but trusting that you're protected, you're looked over. And the sun card is the best fucking card in the deck, so it's a good thing. Don't be afraid of new ventures, new things. Um, more responsibility because you can handle that and this is part of your um, your purpose okay <laughs> all right babies I love you so much you are all so powerful and I really hope that you can find you know what your individual powers are and lean into them and continue to fight <clears throat> and bring these incredible um, gifts to our world and integrate it into the physical realm so we can just keep raising in vibration and keep bringing this amazing world, this new world to the physical. All right, babies. I love you so much. Bye.